This is Matthew Cratter from Trade University, and today I want to talk about Bitcoin Layer 3. The revolution is here. We've really spent a lot of time over the past 12, 15 months talking about Bitcoin as digital gold, as gold 2.0, as a store of value, etc. And this is perhaps the most important aspect of it. But what I've been focused on most recently is the Lightning Network, which is a Layer 2 solution and where that is leading us. I think this really is the big revolution. And a lot of people, especially altcoin critics of Bitcoin, fail to mention the explosion that's happening here in this ecosystem. So layer one is the one we is the layer we've spent most of our time talking about, also known as the base layer. This is the Bitcoin blockchain itself. A block's produced every 10 minutes or so. It's added to the chain. It's an open ledger. It's a list of all the transactions that have ever happened since 2009, and it shows who owns which Bitcoin. This is the, the layer that has the highest hash rate of any network in the world. It's the most secure. It's the most scarce. It's the hardest money ever created. And it's also what's known as the settlement layer or the base layer. Now, on top of layer two is what we might think of more as a medium of exchange layer. If layer one is store of value, settlement, uh, global treasury, asset, global reserve asset. Layer two could be thought of as the day-to-day -day micropayments, medium of exchange, etc. I'm using layer two in a very loose manner to include things like the liquid network and other side chains, which we can talk more about in another video. The really big development that's happening at layer two, the biggest layer two solution, and what we'll be focusing on in this video is the lightning network, which is built on top of layer one. Then finally, what this video is about is layer three and what is being built on top of a particular layer two solution, the Lightning Network. And these are the decentralized apps or dApps that we'll be looking at. So just to visualize this, we have the base layer down here. We have the blockchain. We have the Lightning Network, which is just a network of nodes that are connected peer to peer that's put on top of layer one. And there's a common misunderstanding that the Lightning Network is controlled by any a single corporation like Lightning Labs. This isn't true. This is a permissionless global network that anyone can join and anyone can leave. It's completely decentralized and it's built on top of layer one. And so what we're going to be talking about today would be layer three, which is really solutions, dApps, uh, programs that are built on, or structures that are built on top of the Lightning Network as a layer two solution. There's a very exciting one in the works. It looks like Twitter is about to add the ability to tip using Bitcoin. They're actually gonna be using the Bitcoin Lightning uh, app that was developed by, by Strike that we've talked about in other videos. It's a really nice way to, to send money peer to peer. And it looks like Twitter's testing out using that as a way of tipping people on, on Twitter. We're gonna talk about a few other dApps or layer three uh, solutions that are in process. Here's a really cool one that allows you to log on to any website. And obviously this isn't, but it hasn't been rolled out to all websites on the internet. It's still a very small project, but basically you would never again need to have a username and a password for different websites. You could use your Lightning Wallet to log in to everything. You just scan your Lightning Wallet, you go right here, click Login, and then you'll need a Lightning Wallet that has LN URL, Lightning Network URL capabilities. And so that's how you would log in to this. It looks like uh, it looks like Stacker News has rolled out something similar. For those of you who don't know about Stacker News, it's sort of the Bitcoin equivalent of Hacker News, um, which is really more for, for developers. But Stacker News now allows you to log in in a few different ways. You can log in using GitHub, GitHub, log in using Twitter, log in using your email. But even more exciting, you can use the same functionality. Uh, and I believe this was developed by OpenNode. I'm not totally sure to use, uh, to, again, to, to log on using LN URL functionality and to just scan. You can scan this with your, um, with your Lightning Wallet. And then you'll be uh, you'll have access to Stacker News, and I assume this allows you to. I haven't really dug into this too deeply, but this allows you to uh, receive Sats or to send Sats on this article. So maybe if you like someone's comment a lot, you tip them a thousand Sats, which is call it fifty cents or something like that. So really, this uh, micro payments on the internet. People have been talking about them since really the um, mid two thousands, and now 
they are actually here in a very decentralized, permissionless manner. If you want to try logging into each of these services, I was actually not successful when I just tried to do it. Um, you'll have to look for a list of uh, Lightning uh, compatible wallets. They have a whole list here, and I, try, I tried a bunch of these. You can try using Moon, M-U-U-N.com. You can download these apps on your phone. Or Wallet of Satoshi. We talked about both these apps in a previous video, but you should be able to download these and then scan uh, scan the login here and then be logged in with Lightning. I, I could make it work this morning, but I'm going to keep trying, uh, especially this weekend. So this would be sort of internet 3.0 where it's decentralized, it's permissionless, and you can log in. You don't have to be relying on an email. You can log in using uh, a Lightning wallet. Next, I want to talk about another app, another th Layer 3 app, which is uh, produced, it's a, I guess an API that's produced by Zebedee. And what this does is it enables you to have um, to have real Bitcoin payments inside of video games inside, uh, for gamers. And uh, basically they have a couple different things. They have a mobile wallet, which you can download. I just downloaded it this morning. This is where you hold your, uh, you hold your Bitcoin. Next, when you sign up for the app, basically you can just go to the app store and download the Zebedee Zebedee wallet. They, they'll assign you a gamer tag and uh, a, Q, a static QR code that you can use to pay or receive Bitcoin inside of a game. And then really, what's really cool is they have this, uh, I think this is the, a, the uh, API program that allows you to uh, introduce Bitcoin into existing games. And so this really gives you skin in the game. They've, it looks like the, the only one it's really been integrated into is uh, is a CSGO Counter-Strike Global Offensive, which I actually don't know that much about. But basically, when you join a server that's been infused, in other words, it's using Zebedee's Infuse software, you pay an entry fee, which is probably something like 25 or 50 cents or maybe even less. They pool all those uh, entry fees. And then the better you play in the game, the more money you collect. So all the money's pooled, and whoever has the highest score gets the biggest percentage of the uh, of the pool. Now, the really cool thing about this is you actually don't even need to stay around until the end of the game. You can leave at any time. Everything's in real time. You can quit whenever you want and just withdraw your current earnings. So you, I'll link to this below. You can go here if you want to check out CSGO using Bitcoin. But the really the great thing about this is that this Infuse software, it's an app, I guess it's a desktop app, uh, that allows you to add Bitcoin to existing games that people already like. So this is really, these are companies that are building the picks and shovels for the Lightning Network and the Layer 3 revolution. I wanted to talk about the Sphinx app. I think we've, I've alluded to this. This allows you to chat, uh, send text messages, for example, and pay using the Lightning Network. Uh, all of it in a decentralized manner. It's uncensorable. And you can also, um, what's kind of cool is you can build tribes on here. So I was thinking if anyone, I've been trying to sign up for this, but you, it looks like you need an invite code. I contacted the company, asked for an invite code. I haven't heard back from them. If any of you have uh, an invite code, please let me know. Uh, you, can, uh, you can email it to me or uh, just contact me in the comments because I'd love to I'd love to join this. I'm thinking about sending up a Sphinx tribe inside of the Sphinx app. Just to give you an example of the functionality, uh, here's an example where you can pay someone. Uh, let's see, you want to text them on their birthday and say happy birthday and send them a few sats. So here, here's this is what Sphinx I guess looks like inside. This person is sending uh, Sophia a thousand sats on her birthday, and it pops up. And uh, now Sophia can have the sats as a, as a present, and she can also uh, you can communicate back and forth. So this is this is really I think this is amazing. Uh, this is messaging, instant messaging with money integrated. No one can censor you on here. No one can tell you what to talk about. No one has a record of it, and you can send money back and forth. So if you have an invite code, please um, please contact me. I would love to. Uh, Love to test this out. It looks like you can have a dedicated, uh, a dedicated node, or you can share a node with other people, or you can run this off your own Lightning node. Finally, another layer three sort of picks and shovels company I wanted to talk about is Impervious, Impervious.ai. 
that is building more infrastructure that allows you to use the Lightning Network inside your dApps. Again, uh, just to, to belabor the obvious, but this is, this is real. It's truly peer-to-peer. -peer. You don't have to go through big companies like Facebook or Google or be relying on them. Surveillance resistant, cens censorship resistant, default encrypted with payments built in. They just had a hackathon a few days ago. And if you look at the projects that, uh, that won, it's very, very cool. I'll link to this, this Twitter link. Uh, P2P services uh, on Arcade City, uh, Discord bot, that uses Lightning. This is one that really stood out to me, Red Phone, uh, where it's end-to-end -end encrypted uh, IMP powered telephone for your Lightning node. So you can make telephone calls back and forth over the Lightning network. No one can listen in and no one can monitor you. Um, GOSS, P2P, gossip chat room. So it looks sort of like uh, a little bit like social networking or a, a version of Reddit with money built in. Uh, Bitswarm, a marketplace for torrent seeds, incentivized and paid by the Lightning Network. And then finally, uh, the World Computer, which is uh, probably an ironic glance at Vitalik Buterin and Ethereum. Worldwide, computer enables developers worldwide to sell services without a bank account or risk center, uh, censorship. So this would allow you to accept Bitcoin payments inside of any any application. So these are some examples of layer three, the apps that are being built on top of Lightning. This is very exciting because it's a native money layer, layer two is, and when you incorporate it into software programs or applications, uh, it just uh, is, is amazing. It's, it's still so difficult to send money online and you have to use these various silos like PayPal or or Zelle, et cetera. And then you risk having PayPal saying they don't like your politics and turning you off, et cetera. But this is finally uh, what the internet was expected to be. The next thing I expect to see at some point is completely decent decentralized websites that are driven, uh, that are powered by the Lightning Network or, or other, uh, other side chains or other layer two solutions. And this would allow you to have completely uh, censorship resistant websites, etc., with payment functionality built in. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. Let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. And if you've been playing around with the Lightning Network or Layer 3 and you found anything cool that you'd like to share with the channel, please put that in the comment section below as well. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.